okay so today uh, we're gonna see another blog uh, under uh, looks uh, category and uh, is of type stack right so the block is change uh, option right change brightness color fish eye okay pixel at uh, ghost effect so all these are effect right so and and we're going to change by certain value okay and uh, of course this is a block uh, I added for this particular sprite so this particular sprite render uh, you can of course add any sprite you like okay from your library okay so now the uh, this particular blog is uh, uh, of uh, type stack that means you can also attach block on the bottom of this and on a top of this right so you can stack one block on a top of another block okay now let's say I'm going to re-add this again from the pet uh, the, uh, from the palette switch costume switch backdrop change okay so by default you can see uh, by default it is set to color effect by 25 25 value okay so now as soon as I double click this block or I run this block it's going to change the color of this sprite by 25 now the maximum value for color can take up to 200 okay that means if you double click this guy nothing is going to happen if I change it to 25 back and then double click this block you can see now it's changing the color from that particular point of time now if I double click if I click uh, if I keep clicking this block is going to change by 25 now as I told you uh, if I put the maximum value of 200 it's not going to change from wherever wh whatever the color is uh, right now okay so if okay one more thing if you stop click on stop it will revert back all the changes from the beginning of the uh, sprite so this is the original color of the sprite <coughs> excuse me now uh, let's check other options fish eye right so fish eye uh, it, it's just like uh, uh, that it will uh, apply an effect that uh, that this particular sprite is underwater for example right so I'm going to make it uh, 50 and double click this block as you can see right it's like uh, it's sinking in a in a water right so if you keep double clicking it's making a bigger and bigger right so it looks like you are under a glass of water right or or a, or a pond for example okay now let's go back and change okay now if I click on uh, stop it will revert back to the original now let's go back and uh, look at veil okay uh, this one let's uh, double click this one yes you can see right it's kind of changing uh, it's like a circle effect right Okay, now I'm going to uh, double click and there is you can put any number of value there is no maximum value here um, let's go back and change to pixelate pixelate means as I if you look at my previous video uh, where I explain pixel pixel anything you see on the screen these are pixels okay this image is made out of pixels okay so there are thousands of pixels uh, or, or hundreds of pixels from across this and this and makes this uh, particular image or sprite now what we are saying that change the pixelate effect by 50 that means it's going to break this uh, uh, sprite down to uh, in, in terms of 50 pixel kind of thing okay so let's let's see how, how it works so I'm going to double click this block as you can see right so it, what is doing now it's removing the pixels so it the, the image looks like uh, uh, like uh, uh, some missing some pixels here right if I double click now it's uh, uh, it just uh, uh, revert back to the original number of pixels okay now 
um, this one also you can have there is no uh, limited value you can apply let's just for a fun I'm going to put it 1000 oh it goes away right so because you are exiting right so thousand is greater than the number of pixel this sprite is made out of right so if you put thousand is just completely removing the sprite right so this is another uh, you know you can use this uh, particular trip to uh, trick to um, uh, uh, kind of hide any sprite from your stage for example right um, let's go back and double click this guy again uh, and I'm going to change it to 100 and see what it does right so you can see now you just keep removing the pixels right okay so this might uh, help you um, in some kind of a cartoon story animation uh, this kind of effect yeah, I'm sure you must have seen it on a TV or on a cartoon right okay so let's see mosaic this effect is uh, has no no uh, maximum value you can put any value you like let's see what it does okay so what it does now look at this if you see it break down the pick uh, sprite into smaller version of sprite as you can see now let's change back again and I'm going to put a uh, 2 okay just to see um, okay it's not taking 2 okay so that's something very interesting so let's put 20 for example okay you can see right okay so 2 has no effect right but 20 has it doesn't mean that it is going to break down into 20 okay it's just a value uh, that representing this uh, effect okay so it just break it down into uh, kind of a nine sprite okay so two is a very small number okay let's go back reset it and we're gonna okay hold on yeah let's go back and change it to brightness right so this is a very useful uh, selection brightness because that effect will I'm sure you will use in many projects so what we're doing here is you are um, you're changing the brightness of this particular sprite and now this value right you uh, there is a maximum value of 100 okay so if you set 100 and double click they the, the you are decreasing this uh, brightness so much that you cannot see the sprite anymore okay I'm going to reset back I'm going to change it to let's say brightness of 50 that means see it's kind of uh, it's slowly becoming transparent and then it slowly goes away from the screen okay so if I say 70 as you can see okay 70 is okay no now what happened uh, that uh, first we change it to 50 and then from 50 to 70 so it's more than 100 so it, it just uh, disappeared but if I reset back and now I change it to 70 it's going to uh, put the 70 back because from the original right so from original it is changing to 70 percent so it's a uh, kind of uh, very uh, transparent okay now if I reset back of course 90 percent uh, is changes back to you can see right see that so you can see uh, okay you can use this effect somewhere in your cartoon characters or any animation project on your in a story that you want to make this uh, particular sprite uh, kind of slowly disappearing from the screen right so you can, you can apply this effect in many projects if you can okay now let's go back to reset uh, let's the la look at the last one okay no, actually one more thing okay let's go back to the ghost one so this one okay let's reset back ghost means kind of a same kind of brightness but it's little different so let's see what it does first you can see it is also kind of uh, transparency but it's different okay so let's see if I stop this thing but this one has uh, of course maximum value of 100 but if I say minus 50 in this one right uh, nothing happens okay so if I say 50 it's going to transparent now it's going going away right so ghost effect is little different but let's see what's the difference is first okay so I'm going to put another block I'm going to have a brightness and uh, uh, let's let's okay I think this is fine I'm going to 
say the 50 here okay now let's reset now if I apply the brightness to 50 you can see it's different okay now if, uh, just remember this one now if I stop reset if I apply the ghost effect you can see it's different it looks like a ghost that's what it's trying to say okay so it's, it's, it's not a brightness exactly it's kind of a ghost effect okay now um, yeah so guys uh, this is uh, just play around with these different options uh, and of course this is a very brief introduction to this uh, blog but of course we will see more applications more uh, uh, usage of this particular blog in uh, games for example okay in a future videos okay so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video